I'm Alicia, your prop money millionaire, cash stuffing, budgeting teacher, single mom of three. It's time again to these hands. These hands and bands. Welcome back to Hands and Bands. Today we're going to do our weekly check-in and pay off this credit card. It has been three weeks. I got a week behind. Added to that struggle life, and so I pay that credit card off and then start a clean slate. We'll be wrapping up our life in this planner. And as you saw on Monday, we've transitioned to this bad boy, this beauty, which I Frankenstein and <laughs> took apart. And I didn't add anything that wasn't already in here. I just reorganized so that it's structured the way that I prefer it. Um, don't be afraid to make things that you purchase your own i tell you guys that with your your savings challenges make them cater to you make them work for your budget make things work for you you pay your money for them They're, they belong to you they're yours right so if you're going to savings challenge that is um a 500 dollars savings challenge and maybe it's got sections or parts or pieces that are say 50 dollars or 25 dollars that's too much for you then maybe you can say, okay, I'm going to divide everything by five or in half, or it's not enough. I'm going to times everything by two that I reveal or have to track on this savings challenge. Same with my planners. I'm going to make them work for me as much as I can. Obviously, I want to get as close as I can to what I want, but then nothing's ever perfect. So we have to modify a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, <laughs> let's get into this affirmation. Affirminators unite. There are a hundred affirmation cards in here. Ah, oh, interesting. These are such high quality. They are so amazing and they're spot on. I will say that. Okay, let's see what we got. <sighs> it's always a moment. Like, <laughs> I feel like this is our therapy session. It just takes a little bit. This takes a little bit of effort sometimes. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's a teacher. <laughs> if you don't know, I am a teacher. <laughs> Everyone I cross paths with is a teacher in that moment. The ones who give me the fun lessons are the ones I call friends. The ones who give me the hard lessons I sometimes call a-holes. They've chosen a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So today I'm thanking all those guys. Thank you, those guys, for playing your part in making me a better person. Okay. Lesson learned, life lessons. Like they say, you know, um, there are different seasons and reasons and there are different little like sayings for this exact same thing. Um, some people come into your life for a season, some are there for a reason, you know, like that kind of thing. Um, everyone serves a purpose and it is not up to us to change people or make them fit into a certain mold it is to sometimes just have them pass through our life for a brief moment or an extended period but don't ever feel like you have to have that person um, remain there if you're not comfortable I, um, a couple of people point out some of the previous affirmations and i never want you to feel like things have to be a certain way just because they are or people um, are allowed access to you because they don't you control that but you know we meet people in life um, it could be in our workplace it can be in our relationships it can be um, <laughs> with your family and children um, and some people are there um, to teach you lessons and sometimes the lessons are fun sometimes they're not and we learn we grow and we move on and sometimes you're the fun person and sometimes you're not in someone else's life. Remember that. Remember that perspective. <laughs> okay. So let us check how much we've spent in March. I know we're in April. Um, I'm going to actually do the final. Let me see if you can see me. Can you see the love? Okay. We've got week one. That or week three of March and week four and then week one of April. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through all these. As you can see, I ran out of stickers down here and I didn't cut anymore and now I'm regretting it fully. So, and I knew I wasn't gonna be working in this binder anymore. I was like, ah, oh, just forget it. <laughs> it is what it is. And so then I had, I had every I had every thought to go through and use a highlighter. And so this, this taught me a lesson in that I have to have these stickers. They help me stay um, more organized. And I really want to try and be better with my color coordination. I do use blue for any business. I do use green for gas. 
um, and everything else is kind of everything else. But hopefully I can get something else going with that. But anyway, so down here, we have three weeks worth of purchases, which is a lot. Um, I'm not probably gonna bore you with too many details because I will give you um, the totals, but we do have one, two, just two days of, what do you call it? No spend days. So let's put the sticker on. I think that's it. The rest, even the single ones don't have just um, a business purchase of other things as well. So we did do quite a bit in these two weeks. Um, we paid for the birthday trip, so that was a big one. That cash has been pulled out. Um, you know, we had some school purchases, um, business re-ups. Um, looks like we did buy some more nails. Oh, and a blazer. Got some food with the family. Gassed up, got the yard done. Um, ordered some more business cards. Went for a few Walmart runs. I didn't do these two right here. I know the totals though. Let me write those in right now. Cause they were high. <laughs> This Amazon was 175 and this one was 150 And if I'm wrong, oh well, it's close enough. <laughs> so that's that. And I, oh, I had to get my car worked on. So every year my air conditioning, I usually get service. There is a leak, there's a small leak. They finally didn't find that there is a leak for why they couldn't find anything, but they can't pinpoint where it's from. It's so minute. Um, and so every year for the last couple of summers, I've just been recharging my air conditioning and i know it's not simmering yet for most of you but it's arizona we're already about to hit 100 so it's hot um so your girl needs her air conditioning in her car with the babies so i took it in friday just in the in the anticipation of i'm going to get it recharged to get my oil change you know and be done well and the guy was like when are you gonna get this leak fixed and i was like when are you gonna find the leak <laughs> like don't come at me bro <laughs> And I, I've been going there for years. He just laughed and he's like, okay, I got this new item. I got this new thing. It's a sniffer. I want to find the, the leak. I'm like, cool, you find it. Let me know. You got my number, right? So they called me. They found the leak. He's like, I can't tell there's any more. I'm still going to put the dye in, drive it around for a week, come back. Um, but for now, you know, we did find this leak and here's what you need to do um, if you want to go ahead and get it done. And it being 487 with the fixing the leak, recharging the AC, and my oil change. Now, before you say that's oh my gosh that's a lot it is a lot but my minivan is built in a way where I have two almost independent air conditioning systems and like it has two independent um motors and like I have to fill both of that it's crazy is uh, they don't even make this minivan anymore like it's not even that old like they stopped making it um it has so many problems and I would not recommend it and like I was telling the guy but I outweigh it because I don't have a car payment. It is paid for. And so, yes, I have to get things worked on, but I save for those moments and like this, you know. But he also called me and said, there's some more damage that it's very, very small right now. It's, you know, it's like a hairline um, fracture in your radiator, but you want to get it fixed before it gets too hot, which it is already getting too hot. And so the quote was 1200. And I was like, mm, let's do the AC for now. And then I will um reevaluate my finances <laughs> and also check with my regular mechanic like my family's like the family's mechanic just to make sure that the price sound right for what the work was supposed to be it's okay to get second opinions of people for everything for medical for your car for getting your hair done i don't care it's okay to get other opinions and find out if this person is making sense um which i found out so far it is so it's like we'll be getting that work done i I'm probably going to get it done sometime this week at the end of the week. And the money I have in my car funds, which I think is in here, right? car stuff is in here. Um, it's going to be, oh, we've got 1140, but we're using almost 500 from here. So that leaves us with like 700. Remember I told you he says it's going to be like, it's like 11 something. So any money I make from Etsy this week will go right to um, car stuff because I just need to make sure I have enough to cover. I don't want to pull from other places if I don't have to. And the money that I have set aside for savings challenges will cover the rest. And so I'll still be able to do my savings challenges and still pay off the entire amount that I owe for the car bill. So I'm, 
if this isn't a, a sign to you that this system works, I don't know what else could be. Listen, when I first started, and you can look at my old videos, I, I literally would message people and be like, how, where, where's that money coming from? <laughs> like, how do you have money for a savings challenge? I didn't understand what saving challenges even were. Like, so you have money that comes in, like you have so much extra money, you can play games with it. Like, <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> um, and if you don't understand something I'm doing, please ask. And I love that you guys ask questions in the comments. And I respond to all of them. I am a little bit behind. I will not lie. Um, but I've been catching up. And by the time the Friday video launches, I, I am usually caught up with whatever is pending. Especially when I have a giveaway to do. I like to make sure we're all caught up. I have the messages. I have the, the giveaway ready. So just remember, if you don't understand something, ask away to any of the, the channels you watch. And if they're not answering your questions... Yeah, you might want to ask somebody else <laughs> just saying so that helps me um have more confidence in where my money is going and it's not all just using envelopes it's managing where you're spending your money it's tracking where it's going and it is giving your money a job telling it what it's going to do not you looking at afterwards like oh my gosh where am i going to find money to pay these things off now I, I know I have money for all these things. And if I don't, I have I have systems set in place to pay off what I don't have, quote unquote, available. Okay. Okay. And I just want to say, I still have not had to really dip into any emergency funds yet. I can, I can still play around with my envelopes. So for me, I'm going to deplete my envelopes before I dig into my savings. That's just how I work it. People work it differently. Um, I'd rather have some zeroed out savings uh, in my sinking funds and fixed funds than to dip into my savings, okay? All right, so let's really, um, I'm going to speed through. I'm just going to find, I go across and I write in a category. If you're new, I'll show you. This is my pen from Erica, black and blue. Okay, so, um, and I'll do a couple and then I'll just go through them without talking and then show you what our totals are at the end for all three weeks. So I see the first one is school. So I write school right here. I'm just writing down categories at first. Blue is business. Um, this is gonna be family for Panda Express. Once I've written that subject once, I don't have to write it again. So here's family again, don't have to write it. Here's school again, don't have to write it. Food, food and gas. Okay, and I'm just gonna go through and do the rest of them now and then come back with uh, my totals. Okay, so these totals, 4893 for the three weeks includes the $1,550 um, towards the birthday trip, plus another almost like a little over $500 for um, my car. So that is like two grand right there. That I would normally have spent like a normal week. Um, and that's gonna three weeks. So if we take out 2000 from here, um, as we see here, it's about my average for two weeks. So I'm not too, it's a little over, but it's not too bad. I know I did a lot of grocery shopping this last week, um, restocking a lot of things in my kitchen at the beginning of the month for us. So that's kind of how I run that. It's usually heavier in the beginning and I kind of like trail off in the end for the groceries. So I'm okay with this. Um, I'm gonna go through and pull some of these. I know I don't have some of these in the amounts that are shown. So I'll have to play around with a few of the totals, but I just go through and I pull out what's in there from the, like, let's do let's do the car stuff i'll show you i'll show you one i want to do all of these because it just takes some time and i really want to make sure that i update my trackers this time so if i do it on camera i get so like worried that i need to hurry up i don't want to um do that this time so i'm 11 40 and car stuff remember every envelope has its own account for me so i will go into that account and i will transfer out 509 and i'll put it on my credit card i usually shuffle all to one um um account and then just make one payment one time, if that makes any sense. I pull from the different envelopes, put it to one account. Once I have that total that it's going to be, I make sure that's what's in there, and then I just pay off that one time um, card payment. Car payment. Card payment. I said it right the first time. Okay, so 1140 minus 509 gives me 631 remaining. So minus 509, car repair. And that was on the 7th. Okay, so let's take out the 509. I'm gonna need some change. We're gonna leave 631 in here. So this is one, 
31, we have 500. And the bank, the bank will prop money, 5, 6, 20, 31. So now I have 631 remaining. And the way I do, so I know what everything is on this sheet. Once I check it off in the month itself, that means I have put it over here. Once I check it off here, that means I put it on the tracker. Once I highlight it, that means I've paid it off. Okay, I know it's a lot, but that's how I run this. So that one's done on the tracker. So I still have 509 left um, in that one. So that one, obviously I didn't need anything else. So I'm gonna go through the rest of these and just take the money out like I just did. Um, and then once I get my total, this total though includes things I've already paid for in cash. Like, let's highlight that on here so I don't forget. I still need to market my tracker, but birthdays already paid for in cash. I've already paid, that was, it's been solidified. The yard guy gets paid in cash. And I've also already paid for the, um, this should be a hundred. So plus 15 for tip for Carl. And that was in cash, so that part's already in cash. So actually it's 4,893 plus 15, so 4,908. Okay, so anything in yellow, already paid for in cash, the rest I need to pay for, pay off for my credit card. My credit card is carrying this balance and that's a week longer that I prefer to carry a balance, to be honest. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, you should go check out my Friday video. I already kind of alluded to it and why it's important earlier in this video. So go check out Friday's video. It's a little long, I know. But this is my last reminder to you before we hit it. So this Friday, we will be going over what was in the April mystery kit, if you didn't already see it. And then we'll be reopening the mystery um, kit purchases for May. And it'll be up for two weeks. And then once that two weeks is over, I close it up for a week so I can gather everything, prep everything, and ship them out all on the same date. So look forward to that. Um, I've got some some new things in the shop coming Friday. So it's a big Friday. It's a big it's a big video for me. It won't be very long because we're not stuffing a lot of money since you know my money's going to the car. I'm just either going to go to the car or wherever else we um, feel like there's some holes. And I'll go ahead and use whatever we have planned to stuff that day there. So it won't be a traditional stuffing video that day, but it will be some fun. So I hope you join us. Join us. Us is me. <laughs> us is me and this guy. <laughs> so... I hope you join us. See you guys later. <laughs> okay. Bye. Boom.